Right, so we'll start this uh, quick introduction to the new Bluetooth uh, connection for Freestyler. This is the little uh, server app that you need to have running uh, so that Bluetooth can talk to Freestyler as well. Uh, so we've got a pretty uh, standard setup, a few queues, a couple of submasters, a few overrides. Um, <coughs> on the app itself, we're starting with Bluetooth off, there's no Wi Fi, uh, just a standard 4G signal. So if we click on the app, it's asking that we uh, need to switch Bluetooth on, which yes, we do. And it's there, no device is found, so we're going to do a scan. So it's uh, found my PC there. It's asking me to pair. Windows has detected it. Just type in the same pin code. And that's it, we've been added. And up as uh, up open as uh, the Freestyler remote. This is the, uh, like I said, this is the Bluetooth version. Now the new things for it is the Submasters. Submasters have been a, a while in coming. Uh, will be out on the Wi-Fi version quite soon, as well as iOS when we get started on that. And this is a very, very basic uh, overview of what this app can do. <coughs> so at the moment, um, we've got two Submasters. Pan Tilt, Gobos, Park Hanzar, which can be seen on the screen here. Nothing selected because nothing's run. So if I select a couple, as you can see as we press on them, it is going through the submasters. Like that. And I'll select it to run it. And there we are, we are running. Now for a gobo, let's choose a gobo sequence. Select it. There we are. And if we just slightly scroll down, we'll do the same. These pack hands. Rainbow. And there we are, that is uh, very basic, Submasters up and running, of course you can change things like speed and whilst, uh, whilst they are running you can select another one. You've noticed the stop sign is still illuminated because it's still running, um, but the, the sequence name is not because that's showing you you haven't highlighted or started to run that. So at the moment for Parkans I've got white sign uh, selected, um, but it's not running, it is still running the old rainbow, so if we press that that changes over to, to white sign and that's now running. Everything else is the same as the um, the Wi-Fi version. So you get complete sequence control. And in. And that's on any screen. So even on the the Q screen, those um, up and down buttons will always work. So masters we've just shown, fixtures, shows you the groups. So I can select a group, so the my park hands. I'll select some power cancel there. Turn it off, turn it on, turn it off. Again, with full feedback in the app. So once you've selected a group, you then got some options here of selecting the colour, gobo, beam, pam tilt. Uh, so if we go colour and gobo, you can change between colour, uh, different colour wheels, previous and next, and random. Uh, colour wheel 2 has previous and next. Same with gobos, previous, next, random. You got some options for if your fixture supports it. Of let's get that in focus. Uh, go by rotate, and then you've got your full RGB, which you've got to put uh, a nice color picker as well. To do that, which you can also adjust using these sliders. In beams, that gives you options to shutters. Strobe, intensity, focus, frost, iris, prism, rotation as such as usual. On the bottom of every screen you do have release all, manual step and tap sync for your sequences. Uh, pressing and holding the button will uh, cancel the action there. Pan tilt, press it, the little uh, dot will follow, Select, change the speed, just obviously the speed of the uh, the ball gets to the, the target there. And faders. Now you set this up <coughs> using the uh, MIDI to DMX function within Freestyler, which is under Setup, Freestyler Setup, uh, External Control, and MIDI Control. 
That's all the way down here. There we are, made it to DMX. And simply, all you have to do is type in the cha uh, DMX channel.